ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of boxing scheduled in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing with his head trainer, Lucas Zaspal. He wears the gray with the white stripe. He scaled 10 stone, five pounds, five ounces. His professional record, 10 wins, two defeats. He has five wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Pilsen in the Czech Republic. He's the former Czech super lightweight champion. Introducing Josef Pepe Zaharadnik. Zaharadnik. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Tony Sims. He wears the black trunks. He scaled 10 stone, eight pounds, nine ounces. He is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a record of 13 wins, no losses, nine wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Ilford, he's ranked number six in the world by the WBA. He is the son of the legend and the reigning and undefeated WBA Continental welterweight champion. Introducing Connor, the destroyer. Ben! Ben! Oh, the referee. I obey my command at all times. You bow for the rules, watch the heads, kick them punches up. And when I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands. So final instructions from referee Ian John Lewis. And, well, the legacy of his father tattooed across those shoulders. The destroyer. And he certainly likes his artwork. He's been yeah. busy in that department, certainly since his last fight as well, Alex. Yeah, his ominous uh, robe as well was, was quite scary. So this one's scheduled for eight rounds in the welterweight division. And what will Zaradnik offer? In the progressive career of Conor Ben. It's a fellow that, again, not the most experienced, just this tonight, his 13th fight. But he's already had to leave the Czech Republic to look for fights. In fact, he was in your city not so long ago fighting Jason Easton. That was chief support, I think, to Josh Taylor and Miguel Vasquez that night. Yeah, he's a reasonably star. good performer. He's um, I haven't looked at him before, of course, when, when he fought Jason. He's he's pretty well balanced, does everything off a good basic jab. Um, he's got reasonably good feet work. His defense is a little bit questionable, um, especially as the rounds go on. Um, but from what I remember of him, reasonably good counter puncher and um, quite a patient, quite a patient character, which will suit Conor Ben very well. We mentioned before that Ben's had surgery on his right hand. Injured it the first round of his rematch with Cedric Peinu, who was a little bit of a bogeyman for him. He was patient after hurting his hand and had to box his way through, which probably did in the world of good in terms of his ring education. He had a reasonably good start, Ben. He's uh, mixing the jab up very well. Um, something I've, I've not seen him do to this extent um, before. He's very, very busy with his jab. Is it because he's worried about letting the right hand go early or, or has he just been working on some things in the gym and trying to get a little bit busy with his jab, trying to establish it a little bit more, create himself more gaps, more openings for, for his bigger shots, something that I'm quite sure Tony Sims um, would be trying to ingrain into his style on. Well, this is fight number 14 for Ben. Nine knockouts in those 13 contests today. And I think that you're right in terms of the jab will be key because it, it was always the, those power shots and he was always trying to get in. He, he, he didn't really have a jab, did he, in those, those few, the first really. few contests he had? No, not really. And it, uh, uh, of course, it's the, in, uh, in your amateur career, it's the first thing you learn and taught by your, by your amateur coaches is that if you want to be a great fighter, you have to have a great jab. If you want to be a, an average fighter, you can go without the jab. So... Um, it's something that he would have had to work on harder than most. He takes a couple from Zaradnik there, but prior to that, he's been working the jab well to the body of Zaradnik. Like I said before, Zaradnik is a capable operator. You know, he's, he's he's got really good balance. He's he's dead patient. You know, he takes his time. He doesn't 
he doesn't overgo everything. You know, he doesn't overreach with his shots either. He's um, he's very capable performer. Well, he certainly came with ambition to these shores. Well, Tony Sims has given in his, his advice and you picked up on it, but he, he's such a, a cool, calm voice in the corner, isn't he, every time? He really is, yeah. Nothing much phases him, does it? Pretty much seen it all. Little faint and twitch and tries to get that jab established again. He wants to in my opinion, Ben wants to Ben wants to faint. He's, he's been quite good with the faints, shoulder shifts and you know, and, and a, a slight movement of the front foot. But I'd really like to see him punch after that, you know. Faint and then faint with a backup plan, you know. J just faint and on its own against a guy like this, um, who, who is patient and will wait, uh, you know, he'll just wait some more. So you really need to make something happen. Nice with the faint, but get the jab working right behind it. Maybe start coming in behind the double jab and dropping the right hand over the top. He's got to, you know, really look to break Sirajit now gradually, you know, not, not rush it, but he has to do something to make something happen. And uh, as we heard Tony Sims say in the corner, that will come by using the jab a little bit more regularly. Counter-punching there. Zeradzic fancies the task in hand. Zeradzic himself has to, has to get working behind the jab as well. He has to be a little bit busy with the jab if he actually does want to win this fight. He has to get his jab working. This, this is the kind of fight that whoever wins the battle of the jabs, Dom, is going to eventually take over in terms of landing other bigger shots, setting up bigger shots behind it. So very much a battle of the jabs just now. A very technical fight for two guys who have not got a massive amount of experience, which is quite good to watch. I'm a boxing nerd, so I find things like this quite <laughs> exciting. <laughs> jab battles. And another good jab to the body from Ben. Advice from the corner, just keep working. Just take good a right there right, on the yeah, wide, good the way. right hands from Zerazi, they're very good counters, and very well timed as well. He wants to stay pretty, he's got to be good. That's the key, yeah. He wants to look like me at the end of his career. Sure. Corner Ben, I've seen him dip, dip down a few times now when Zerajnik advances and, and attacks. He, he dips pretty low, he can dip really low on occasion. Um, you know, I would rather he just use those. He's got pretty quick feet, Corner Ben, just slide out of range. There's no reason to keep dipping so low. You know, he might get timed and, you know, a right hand over the top could uh, could cause him trouble. So, yeah, just use your feet and, and slide back out of range. Just again, an experience thing. Uh, and you know, a, a, a little technical error which uh, could be eradicated in the gym. Well, some of the subtleties as well that you're outlining as well. And he's he's usually smaller than his opponents, shorter than yes. his opponents. So distance is key. Nice. Good right hand from yeah, Ben. Good punch back in. Do Connor Ben any harm? He maybe maybe change his tactics up here as well, Dom, and maybe use the ring a little bit more, and, and you know, and try and get off some counter punches. You know, force Zerajnik to lead and counter punch him and slide off. It's uh, it's a good way to pick up experience as well. Right, big right hand didn't quite hit the target, but he is willing to throw it. So I don't think there are any 
issues with that hand after surgery. He seems quite happy to, yeah. to test it. Yeah, he's thrown it on a few occasions now. Landed a couple of good right hands. His counter was countered there as well. See, I'd, I'd like to see him stay out here a little bit more on the outskirts of the ring and, you know, use his jab. Ex yeah, expect a counter, but be prepared to counter punch that. Um, and use his footwork a little bit more. I think it could be that point in the fight now where it's time to go to plan B because uh, plan, plan A isn't working too great. He's, he's taken three jabs in a row there as well and he's not responding with one punch. So most of the pressure is coming from Ben. He's, as he always has been, quite happy to move forward but again yeah. using the ring a little bit now yeah exactly what we were talking about Ella just use your feet and slide out of range there's a little nick to the left eye now Zaradnik that should give Ben just a little psychological boost well there's certainly been no clashes of heads or or, or straying elbows so I would imagine that was a shot it landed a couple of good good shots in that round it was actually coming together early in the round but that was and Ben initially complained and said you know no problem it's crack on kind of thing the yeah. referee didn't need to intervene but maybe that, that there was something there that, that actually in the end oh, maybe, the maybe. was affected with you can see if the incident came from ahead Ben using that good jab mainly at the body when you jab down, wipe that right hand over the top. Yeah. All right. All right. Do a few jabs underneath again. You step in with it. I want a jab hook jab. to the head. Yeah. yeah. You know when you're slipping the shot, try and punch off it. Are you jabbing? Slip. Put the right hand across like you did. All right. I think he's been listening to you there, Alex. <laughs> Hit him hard and often. <laughs> A little bit of urgency in the work. Yeah. Is it running straight away? Yeah, trying to stamp his authority right from the start. Maybe told by the corner that he has to step things up a little bit. Let's see if he can maintain that. No really his style. Wide, really wide stance as well from Zanadnik. Good head movement though. Nice footwork. Let's see if we see Connor use Tony Sims's tactic, touch the body, one of them jab to the body and drop the right hand over the top. Let's, let's see if that comes to fruition in this round. Jab from Zaragoza. If he lands a good jab, it's a good jab. It's certainly given plenty. Ben to think about. Yeah. Ben's still trying to obviously claim centre ring. Yeah, still trying to find a way in, Dom, really. There's that jab to the body. Maybe he'll go for it again, then drop the right hand over the top. Good time to do it, you might go for it. Yeah, mixed it up a little bit. Good body shots. A good counter punch from Ben as well. This is actually a really well matched fight, isn't it? Both men having success. Yeah, they are. Swelling under the right eye of, of Ben now. He lands a decent right. Yeah. Good shot. It up with a good jab to the body. Last half now. I think uh, Ben's just stealing this round. Better ring general shipping there. Uh, some cleaner shots. Yeah. 
bit of a conversation in there, yeah. <laughs> well, there's no complaints from Ben. I think it was just a, a, I think the heads came together. But again, it is a fight when all said and done. These things happen. Yeah. Good counter punching again from Ben. He gained a bit of ground in that round. He's, he looks to be quite comfortable now and a little bit settled. Let's see if we if we see more uh, more combinations from him in the next round. If he if he get if he's found a little bit of confidence now to really step it up. Halfway stage. How are you scoring that, Alex? Um, that, that was another corner Ben round now, and um, I mean I've only really given Zaraz one round, but in that round, I mean the rounds have been fairly close, some, um, but that was certainly corner Ben's round and his best round yet. And uh, if he takes some confidence back to the corner, I think we might see him just put his foot on the gas a little bit now. There's not been a round where. One of them hasn't had a good share of it. No. They've been tight rounds, haven't yeah, they? They've been, they've been yeah. good competitive rounds. Yeah, he's looking for the counter right hand now. I thought Tony Sims might have been a little, a little bit more um, optimistic about um, Connor going forward and attacking a little bit more in this round, but I think he seems to be quite happy with, with him keeping it nice and steady. But I do have a sneaky suspicion that Connor had a really good round in the last round and he's probably wants to step it up a little bit now. He, he, he certainly can't lose his way though. I mean it wasn't that it wasn't that um, demanding around, so he has to get really get back to his boxing and, and look for look for ways in that he can land more combinations. Oh he's oh. taking up a great hand there. He just landed possibly his best body shot of the night as well, a left hook to the body. Yeah. But then Zradnik, as you say, has come back with a big right of his own. And he took it very well, Ben. His eyes are clear. His head's moving. He still seems to be a good shot in the turn, yet. Yeah. Right to the body as well. Good right hook there. Showing good punch for right there as well, Ben. So far away from from the from the finished article. Still a massive work in progress, Connor Ben. Little technical errors that had he been uh, had he had a, a lengthy amateur career, he just wouldn't be making. Good body shot from Ben though. I think that Zaragnitz felt that one. Yeah. He's um, playing possum a little bit here, showing he's not hurt, but I think those punches affected him. Okay. Elbows are tight, yeah. He's worked the body well. Zaragnitz not coming back with much now. I think those body shots hurt him a little bit more than he's, uh, or than anyone else would probably realise, but. Well timed shot. Yep, Connor Ben looking good now. Well, I couldn't say he's had it all his own way in this early career of Connor Ben's. I mean, he's been matched against another very good, durable opponent. Yep, good, steady, solid pro. It doesn't do nothing fantastically well, but does everything reasonably good. Some good counter punching by, by Ben there. Yeah, I said in the last round he was starting to look way more comfortable and you can really see that now. Still has to stay sharp and alert, and, but certainly looking like the like the dominant fighter now. Good round from Ben. Well, nodding the head from side to side. Feeling a little bit happy about his work, I think. Yeah. Again, yeah. Listen, the shot for him, he's carrying his jab down the left hand line now, so the shot for him is put that right hand over now. When you put it over, cross him the left hook as well. Say again, when he puts his jab out, you put the right hand across his jab and then you put the left hook in afterwards. Right. Look, slip bang bang, alright? When you jab into the body now, put the right hand over the top, you've got to step with it. Step, jab, yeah. Up, 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 up. yeah, he's still not quite 
got that dive. It's clearly a shot they've probably been working on in the gym. Tony Sims hasn't seen it yet. He wants Ben to jab to the body but drop the right hand over the top. And quickly as well, he wants him to step to the side. He also wants him when he slips the right hand, uh, when he slips um, the, the, the jab to come back with the right hand and the left hook, not just the right hand on its own. Let's see if we can, uh, if we can come up with those. Good to see yeah. as well, if you just saw that shot that he did take, the big right hand, there was no drama with that. No. Uh, it was just, you know, you yep, he crack on with well. that. So now we're clearly looking for uh, things that he's been working on in the gym. Because he's comfortable enough now to do that, you know, to start practicing some things. Again, good work from Ben, plenty of spite in those body punches. He does like the bent arm shots, they're, they're always going to be his favourite, I think, aren't they? I mean, yeah, he has I been using so, the jab yeah. as more than probably we've, we've seen before in, in his career. And I think you mentioned about what he's been learning in the gym. He's had an injury layoff this time, he's had one previously, and he was, that's what he wanted to do, is learn, learn, learn. Yeah, Use course. the time off, not, yeah. not worry about it, not get frustrated, and no. just learn. As much as he can, and he's, he's, he's in the right place. Got a gym full of champions, ex-champions, future champions, guys that are challenging for titles, so not a bad place to be for Conor Ben. Good right hand. Yep, there's that shot. Still didn't come back with the hook, which Tony Sims has been calling for, but very well timed shot there. And again, the, the kind of the, the face pulled by Zaradnik that said that didn't hurt me, which clearly it did. <laughs> Every time. And good work from Ben, really establishing head, body. Are you happy with his shot selection? Yeah, I mean, considering the fact he's, he's been out for so long and he's, he has a, or he's, he had a bad hand, um, his punch picking has been pretty good. Um, we've never seen him put together a lot of shots in combination. And again, I think that's just basically time out. Um, and really finding his feet again. But um, yeah, there's nothing that you can really fault Ben on. You know, there's a few tiny movements that he makes. You know, he dips into the punches sometimes. Sometimes he doesn't bring the hand back quick enough after a after a counter punch. And, but there are tiny little things that can be that can be you know fixed up and, and, and shaped up in his style. And you mentioned timeout. You know, he hasn't boxed since July. Yeah, it's a lot. You know, for a young lad at 22 as well, takes a right hand, gives one back. You know, even if he does take a big shot, it, you know, he comes straight back. And Enjoying his work now. Good shot to head and body again from yeah, Ben. The heavy left hook to the body from Ben there. Yeah, he's looking for that shot. Always good to let those hands fly at the end of the round. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Last thing the judges remember and all that. Zarajanic now for me, he's, I think he's swallowed now. I think he, he's accepted that this isn't going to be his night. And he did take that shot. He recovered from that shot very well though, didn't he? Showed a great chin there. It's a huge right hand, but again, the, the, the little face pull tells its tale. But in many ways, well, Ben's got to look at that and you think, this fella's, this yeah. fella is he's some tough cookie. Yeah. He took that full on. Remind me, Dom, did he um, stop Jason Easton? Did Jason Easton stop? No, nope. no. Sorry, no. Went the distance. Was it eight it rounds or ten? Yeah. Uh, it was a ten rounder, I think. Ten rounder, unanimous yeah. decision. No, twelve rounders. Beg your pardon. Twelve yeah. rounder, unanimous. Wow. Josh Bowatsi in the crowd. Now he is some prospect. If you can still even call him a prospect, yeah, well, he's a bit more than that, isn't he? But beyond that yeah. now, yeah, yeah, he's not a prospect anymore yet. Yeah. Again, then starting the seventh round, like he wants this fellow out of here. Good hook to the body, and again the crowd just a little g'd up now. Excellent work at the start of the seventh from Conor Ben. There's not been too many incidents of 
clinching or yeah, scruffiness in this fight. It's been a really good fight. fight. Yeah, yeah. Radnik's still giving it a go. Although there's not the same snap. Yeah, he's again, Ben, you know, not punching while he's going back as well and going back in straight lines, you know, another another schoolboy error, which he will gradually um, eradicate from his style over time. Oh, excellent shot to the body and so Rodnick can't take that one. That was an excellent shot. Yeah, he, beautiful this punch. could be the this well, well fair play again. He's straight back very he, well he, picked. He could have actually Yeah, it was, it was a great, very, very well picked shot, but hats off to Zeranich for taking that shot. That was that was pretty full on, yeah. Ben is going for the kill here. He's got time to do it as well. And again, great body work. Zeradnik, he's still there. But I think. He must be struggling in there because that was a heavy shot that put him down and he's taken some more as well. Yeah. Now for the first time really I can he's trying to hold. Yeah. Um, Connor Ben lightly or should at least switch up to the head now. The hands are coming down pretty much. Yeah. Time to switch back upstairs. Drop a heavy body shot in, come right back up with a head shot. Targeting the body a little bit too much. Give Zeradnik a little bit of variety. Keep them guessing. Keep those hands coming up and down. And well, I think he sustained an awful lot of damage to the body there, Zeradnik. Again, well, he's not quite marching forward, but he. His attack, his, his attack after the shot, though, Dom, was a little bit predictable, you know. Uh, you know, the old. Um, <laughs> the old lads from up your way would, would touch the head a couple of times first and they would then switch to the body. Jamie Moore, Ricky Hatton, you know, even Anthony Crawley, you know, those lads knew if they hurt you to the body you were in a lot of trouble afterwards, they'd find a gap. And that's the kind of thing that, that Conor Ben needs to be uh, needs to be looking for now. Well, Zorani comes back and lands a couple of his own at the end yeah, of the round. Yeah, because his attacks became so predictable there, Dom, you know, they were just... Um, sustained body attacks you know without much thought behind them you know of where the next one would go so he was using a lot of force and a lot of power which is which is natural for a novice after you hurt someone you try and hurt them in the same spot again you don't look for a gap or try and open a gap up uh, but that was, a, was such a well-timed punch and very well picked as well right in the bread basket as Jim Watt used to say <laughs> Took it well, he actually, he got to his feet quicker than I thought. I thought he might just take the count a little yeah. bit Yeah, he could have taken a little bit more time and, and maybe a little bit balance, maybe a little bit off balance there as well. Nonetheless, very well picked punch. Good timing and um, he got a lot of torque on that shot as well. Come on, man. Well, the final round and bar anything disastrous, Conor Ben will have his hand raised at the end, but does he want to end it? Does he want to make a statement and try and finish this very tough fella from Pilsen in the Czech Republic who has been on these shores before and proved how durable he is? Conor Ben who wants to achieve such great things and some suggestions he could be looking at British titles soon. But these are the, the operators he has to beaten beat yeah. well he's looking for that body shot now which is uh, again quite predictable you know he wants to look for a way to to create gaps for himself and, and you know and, and open Zrajnik up but uh, his attacks are a little bit still a little bit too deliberate for me but then uh, it's something he's that he can take away from this of course and go and work on Sheer brute force and power doesn't isn't enough to cut out at the top level. Oh, shouts of left hook from yeah. the corner. Punch 
And is he just surviving now as a Rudnick? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're halfway it's through the round now as well, and well, more than halfway through the round, and he's not um, he's not stepped it up any yet, Connor Ben. One, two, go. Seems to be punching in those situations. He's making his imagine that he's missing. He's not coming back with any shots, Dom. You know, he has to make the guy miss, make the guy pay. And he's urging him on now, Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, though, he's, he's enjoyed being back in the ring. Well, you can see that, it's, but it's quite, it's quite surprising that he took his foot off the gas. I've had I have such a, such a good round in the seventh that he's, uh, he's really not done much at all. Again, still quite unsure if he should step it up or if he, sh uh, if he should. You know, just just run it out and you know, and box his way to a comfortable points decision. So, again, I'll say what I said at the very, very start of this fight. Conor Ben still isn't 110% sure who he is in the ring yet as a boxer, um, and he's still learning that. Well, that's eight rounds under his belt. It has gone the distance. I don't think there's going to be any doubt that Conor Ben is a comfortable winner. Goes straight over to have a quick chat with promoter Eddie Hearn. Ben's still quite a bit off championship fights for me, Dom. If I'm going to be honest, brutally honest, I think he's still quite a bit off. Yeah. But good performance for for uh, for being out for so long and um, and you know testing out the the hand and stuff like that. It was um, yeah, reasonably good performance against a quite a solid operator. Well, I think Ben's just uh, alluded to the hand. Said he felt good in there. So that's probably. The biggest thing for him, just to make sure that he feels confident with that hand and yeah. he's got the ring rust out of the way now. It's another good eight rounds against a durable guy. He'll take the positives from that, I'm sure. I'm sure Tony Sims will, will as well. And in fairness as well, when you start going the distance against guys, people stop expecting you to bang everyone out in two rounds. This is also true. Yeah. It takes a little bit of heat off him, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, no, of course it does, yeah. There's a Radnik. Well, certainly not disgraced himself. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action here at the O2 Arena, referee Ian John Lewis scores this contest 80 to 71. For your winner, he's still undefeated. Counter the Destroyer Ben.